In this presentation, we understand Simplified Data Encryption Standard SDES. Data Encryption Standard is basically a symmetric block cipher which takes 64 bit of input plain text, processes it with 56 bit key, producing a 64 bit block of cipher text. It was one of the most popular used encryption algorithm in the world and it was used also in other ciphers such as triple DES, IDA, etc. The simplified DES uses the principles of DES and it is meant for academic purpose. Simplified DES takes 8 bit input of plain text, producing 8 bit of cipher text. However, the key size given to the SDES is 10 bits. SDES operates in two rounds of operation. The round keys are generated with the help of permutation operation and also left circular shifts. Encryption is done with the help of initial permutation, round functions and switching the halves. Since we have do the initial permutation, we also have inverse permutation. Decryption is same as encryption except that round keys are used in the opposite direction. This is the overall observation of SDES. We take encryption with the help of 8-bit plain text and then it undergoes initial permutation with the help of IP table. IP table indicates ordering of the bits or permutation positions of the bits. So the 8-bit input is permuted with the help of IP table and subsequently the permuted text undergoes two rounds of round functions. The output from the second round function is given to the inverse initial permutation with the help of IP inverse table. So this inverts whatever the permutation that we have done in the IP with the help of IP inverse. The output from the inverse initial permutation is regarded as the cipher text for the given 8-bit plain text. On the key side, we see how the key gets produced for the each route. The given key is 10-bit key and the key gets permuted with the help of P10 table, which indicates the bit positions that are to be permuted. The permuted 10-bit bits gets divided into two halves, 5-bit as well as the 5-bit. Each 5-bit undergoes a left circular shift by one bit. So the for first round we are left circular shift, we are performing left circular shift by one bit. So each half undergoes a left circular shift by one bit and that five bits again are given to the permutation operation which is a compression operation. So total 10 bits gets compressed to 8 bits with the help of this particular P8 table which discards essentially 2 bits to produce round key which is 8 bit round key. And the initially left circular bits are again undergo a left circular shift by 2 bits. Whatever the output that is coming here again goes as input for left circular shift by two bits. So the two halves again undergo left circular shift by two bits and which five bits each would again undergo the compression permutation operation to get the round function for second round key for the second round. This is how we get two round keys for SDES. During the encryption, the given 8-bit plain text is, as we discussed, undergoes initial permutation and subsequently it gets divided into two halves, the left half and as well as the right half. The right half of four bits undergoes an expansion operation with the help of EP table. So the four bits of right half gets expanded with the help of EP table to get eight bits. So essentially, if you look at EP table gets extra 4 bits by repeating certain bits from the given 4 bits. Now the 8 bits of expansion table 
gets XR with the round key of first round. Then bitwise XR is done to produce the output and subsequently those 8 bits again gets divided into 4 bits each undergoing a S box operation which is the substitution operation. They are given each 4 bit is given to 2 S boxes, S0 box, S1 box which are substitution boxes. So each box takes 4 bit as an output input producing 2 bit as an output. We discuss, we will discuss how these 4 bits produce gets produced to 2 bits in the next slide. So the output from each Xbox which is 2 bit each undergoes a permutation operation producing 4 bits. That particular output gets XR with the left half that was left over earlier. This 4 bit output gets swapped to the right side. Similarly, the earlier right side gets swapped to the left side for the next round. So the second round, again we take 4 bits as left, again this 4 bits as right and round function gets continuous. And the second round key that what we have seen the operation earlier, we get the second round key for second round. And Finally, the output that is coming from the second round undergoes the inverse initial permutation with the help of IP inverse table. So the 8 bit which is an output from the IP inverse table is the cipher text for the plain text that, that is given as an input. When we look at the encryption, we have used two substitution boxes wherein which each box is taking 4 bit as input producing 2 bit as output. The given 4 bit, how it bit gets processed? The first bit and the fourth bit informs the row. The middle two bits informs the column of the matrix or column of the box. Corresponding element inside that particular box, that particular output is taken as an output from the box. So the two bits from that particular box is given as output from the S box, similar to the regular DES. We can take a simple example of 8 bit of plain text and a 10 bit of key to produce the cipher text. We can make a, an, as an example. This is the summary of SDES. SDES can be expressed through the following functions. The given plain text undergoes initial permutation, subsequently the round function, switching of the halves, second round function, inverse to the initial permutation producing the cipher text. And on the decryption side, the cipher text gets in, in initial permutation, second round function is applied first, then switching of the halves, first round function, inverse to the initial permutation producing the plain text from the decryption side. When we look at the security of SDES, since it is using 10 bit key, the total number of keys that what SDES can have is 1024 keys, which is very easy to perform a typical brute force attack. When we look at a typical comparison of DES and SDES, SDES is an 8 bit plain text and 8 bit cipher text, and the key size is 10 bit, and it has two rounds of operations. It has two round functions working on four bits and we have two substitution boxes in the SDES. While looking at DES, we have 64 bit of plain text producing 64 bit of cipher text by processing the plain text with the help of 56 bit key. And we have 16 rounds of operations where in which each round is taking 48 bit round key. So we have for each round. 16 48 bit round keys. The round function operates on the 32 bits and we have totally 8 substitution boxes in the DES. The corresponding DES encryption operation if you look at we have the plain text, initial permutation, round functions that are applied, switching of the halves subsequently that are done for 16 rounds of operations and then finally inverse permutation producing the ciphertext. Thank you.